Hello. Today we're going to talk about the letter I. This is an uppercase I. Uppercase I is a tall letter. It touches the top line and the bottom line when we write it. Can you show me what tall looks like by sitting up tall? Uppercase I can make more than one sound. It makes the short I sound or I. For the short I I sound, I want you to pretend like you have an itch to make the I sound. Ready? I. Just like Ichabob Ichthyosaurus in the story of Ichabob Ichthyosaurus. Ichabob had itchy insides. That's a text to text connection. Uppercase I makes another sound. It makes the long I sound. For the long I sound, I want you to pretend that you're pedaling a bike and make that I sound. Ready? I. Just like the story Ike's Bike Ride. This is lowercase i. Lowercase i is a small letter. Show me what small looks like. It's going to touch the middle line and the bottom line when we write it. The dot is going to go in between the middle line and the top line. So what sound does short i make again? And what sound does long I make again? I. Let's take a look in the letter I tub. What do you think is in the letter I tub? Think, think, think. I think there are objects in the letter I tub that begin with the short I, E sound, and the long I, I sound. What is this? That's right, it's a card, but we're going to call it an invitation. An invitation is when you get invited to a party, like a birthday party. What sound do you hear at the beginning of invitation? Eh. What is this? It's an icicle. What sound do you hear at the beginning of icicle? I hear the long I sound. What is this? It's an ice cream. And what sound do you hear at the beginning of ice cream? I. And what is this? It's an insect. An insect is an animal with six legs and three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. And what sound do you hear at the beginning of insect? Eh. What is this? It's an igloo. What sound do you hear at the beginning of igloo? Eh. And what is this? It's an iron. An iron is used to get the wrinkles out of clothes. But an iron gets very hot. You don't want to iron your clothes while you're wearing them. You want to put the clothes on an ironing board and then use the iron to get out the wrinkles. And what sound do you hear at the beginning? I. What letter is this? It's, an, it's the letter I. Is this an uppercase I or a lowercase I? It's an uppercase I. And what sound does uppercase I make? Remember, it makes more than one sound. So what sound does short I make? Eh. And what sound does long I make? I. 
what letter is this? It's an I. And is this an uppercase I or a lowercase I? It's a lowercase I. And what sound does it make? Remember, it has more than one sound. What sound does short I make? Eh. And what sound does long I make? I. Now it's time to draw and write. You get to make two pictures, one for the short I eh, sound and one for the long I, I sound. So let's think of things that begin with the short I sound. They can be things that we went over in our letter I tub, or they can be things from our story. Ichabog Ichthyosaurus. Or they can be things that you have thought of on your own. Now let's draw and write another picture. This time I want you to think of things that begin with the long I sound. They can be things from our tub or from Ike's night bike ride. Have fun. Bye.